What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Deer Wizard Films. We are finally getting back into fishing. Um, it's been a long time and it's been too long. Tomorrow, Josh, Bella, and I are headed out for some rockfish fishing. And right now I'm just pre-rigging some rock fishing lines. As for the boat, Josh and I replaced the impeller, the water fuel separator, changed the spark plugs, did an oil change, just maintenance stuff. Um, didn't really film any of that. It's just kind of tedious. But tomorrow we'll finally head out fishing. So what I'm gonna be doing is explaining how I make these rigs so that we don't have to do them on the boat and we can just, if we break one, we just throw another one back on. And then I'll kind of explain what we're looking for when we're fishing. So starting out with big spool line. I believe this is 30 pound line. It's worn off. I'm pretty sure it's 30 pound line. I usually do about six feet. So a little over my wingspan because I'm not six foot. Um, and then I just do a perfection loop on both ends. And then I tie loops in the middle of the line. Um, it's gonna be hard to show you kind of what I'm doing, but I'll attempt. Um, just time perfection loops. So you just kind of make a loop and then you come around, you make another loop. You got kind of a figure eight and then you just feed one in through the other. I'm sure you have no idea what I just did, but when you pull it tight, it makes a little non-slip loop like that. Do one on both ends and then we'll do a loop in the center. And then this allows us to just clip on one. On the other end, you got a loop. So you just feed the weight through the loop. You got a loop hanging or a weight hanging from this loop. And then you come up, I just make two, two loops in the center of the line for hooks. And I don't remember what this is called but it's a good one. Pull this through, wet the line. Pull it tight. So you've got your little knot. Ah, oh, jeez, probably shouldn't get that close to the camera. You got your little knot with the loop. This allows you to just feed a hook over this run live bait, squid, grubs, anything off it. Here again, perfection loop. I think that's what it's called. 18 inches down, your knot in the center, your loop in the center of the line, another 12 inches, another knot, another 12 inches, your weight. So you've just got a nice long, long leader hanging off your line. Make, I don't know, eight, 10 of these things, wrap them up, time together, call it a day, go out there and just spend your time fishing rather than tying up stuff and you can avoid it. So anyways, I'm gonna tie up a bunch more of these and I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, we got 52 this morning. We'd like to pick up some Brandon, let's go. Good morning, we got 52 this morning. We'd like to Okay, so we're gonna take a piece of squid. I'm gonna thread this piece of squid on there. Okay. And this is like, you have a very brief time to do all this stuff. 
There's a nice little pocket right there for your okay. hook. It goes right on there. Take this guy, set it in the water, and just let it go. Good, good. See how it's tight now? You yeah. got it stuck on the bottom. Pull it up, you wanna get... And you have a fish. Reel it, reel it. Oh my God. Okay, now hold it. <laughs> keep reeling, keep reeling. Get your hand up higher, get it up higher. This right hand, there you go. Hang on, I brought, I brought fresh clippers. <laughs> nice. Wow, Ew, you got a starry too. So okay, so here's down. what we're gonna do. Oh, yeah, okay. I haven't been feeling that at all. Nice. Ooh. That's a good one. Two different styles of reel. That is a Bacasio. What is a Bacasio? It's a rockfish. Why is this tongue like that? It's a swim bladder. Hey. Wow, that's a good size one. <laughs> well, you're on the board, Bella. You've got more than Josh and I, so. Yep, but there you go. Now reel it up just enough. Now pull it up so it's not stuck on anything. There you go, set it down. Okay, Feel we'll like you're getting it. hit? Yeah, maybe. So reel it. Oh God. Oh my God. There you go. Oh, I got him that time. White fish. White fish? Yeah. It's a big one too. There you go. Yeah, so you're high up enough. Put it in the roll, rod holder. Okay. Oh. There you go. Ooh, Bitch and Bacassia. Okay. The set. There you go. Perfect. That is a great Bacassia. Put the rod in the rod holder, and then you're gonna hold this sucker. And if you want, just smack the weight on everything in its path, and then. <laughs> it's just a long battle. Man, this rod is the worst. That is still fighting. It's still fighting? Yeah. A big old Bacasio. Barely hooked. About a 34 pounder. <laughs> they call these the mini tunas. <laughs>
for the boat. Nice. <laughs> 